the end of May. In fact, it is Memorial Day weekend, so I hope you all are uh, enjoying your festivities. Uh, that being said, on the 28th, the 28th, yesterday, uh, this showed up in my mail. A long-awaited overdue. I thought I'd get this at the beginning of the month. I got April's box at the end, tail end of April, and now this is supposed to be May's uh, Fish Vault Elite. Um, that said, I am very privy, uh, due to their social media, uh, posts, that this isn't exactly what they said, uh, I was to get. So, uh, up here I'll try to pop in a little photo of what, uh, they advertised was part of the May Elite Members edition of Fish Vault. <clears throat> the reason I know, not having opened this yet, that I didn't get what we, uh, were supposed to get is one of the main items was a tackle bag by Plano, or a tackle box, uh, storage sack. But uh, I uh, don't think that's fitting in here, because it was a substantial tackle bag, similar to the ones that if you've been on the channel, you know the, the bags that I carry. Um, so with that said, let's uh, slice and dice the long, long plastic trim here, and we'll see what we did get. Um, I am hopeful that everything else that's in that photo uh, fits into what I was supposed to receive, but missing out on that bag, I'm definitely going to have to drop an email uh, to Fish Vault uh, expressing my uh, small distaste. All right, this does say, Family of Veteran Owned May 2021 Elite Collection, but it is not what was advertised as the Elite Collection. It does have one item in here that I know for a fact was advertised, um, and that's it. So the other items that were posted uh, are no-shows, and that is kind of deterring, uh, disheartening. <clears throat> that being said, they drop in their little fish vault, uh, what's in the box card, and uh, obviously they, they stipulate the brands that are promoted for this month. Uh, we'll get into a brand that wasn't originally slated for May. Uh, LED LED Lenser MH10 Headlamp. Another headlamp. So, MH10, we have an Outdoor Series Rechargeable LED Headlamp from LED Lenser, LED Lenser. So, uh, they promote this as $70 for this little headlamp. Uh, I... I will attest, I love these things. I think it's great for anybody who's a fisherman uh, to have, especially if you're a night fisherman, catfishing, um, you know, overnight camping and fishing, um, you know, catch and cook. Uh, this is great. Again, I allude camping because this is more to my liking a camping supply, although uh, it definitely has its merits in, uh, you know, in, in angling and certainly as a boater. If you're out on the boat and you're coming back and something breaks down, having one of these handy on the top of your head while you're working over the side or working on your engine um, or in the cab, whatever happens to be your problem, uh, it gives you your two hands free uh, that this is mounted to your head and you're, you got it right in your line of sight so it illuminates ahead of you. That's pretty cool. $70, I would have rather not seen this. I'd rather um, get something else of greater value uh, because you can pick these up at TJ Maxx and all, all kinds of different stores uh, in the $29 range. Um, Maybe not this brand, certainly not this brand, and probably not this quality as it per se. Um, this is 600 lumens for, a, for 150 meters of distance. So it can be seen from 150 meters away. It has a 600 lumens LED, single LED diode. Uh, I prefer the ones that have like four or six uh, series LEDs. It does have a optical lens in here. Um, it's hard to tell, but it is in there. Maybe I can pick it up yet. Yeah. You see that 
dome, so that definitely will uh, brighten the the uh, the light and uh, and broaden it because it, it'll be on the convex. No, it'll be on the concave side of a convex lens, so it'll splan out the light uh, rather than just have a focused pin drop. So that's pretty good. Seventy dollars for that. Next up, Kershaw. Uh, I N N E N. I N N, excuse me, I N N U E N D O knife, uh, and you do knife for fifty dollars. Hold that thought. Uh, so I'm editing this, and uh, hindsight being as it is, 2020, I'd like to correct a few things really quick. One, it's innuendo. I don't know why. I cannot just fathom, but it's innuendo knife. And uh, later on, I make another mistake, and I'll correct that too. It's May. The coffee was brewed in four. That's April. So it's a month old. I was under the assumption it was actually brewed yesterday, which is impossible. <laughs> so to have received it before it was brewed was impossible. So brain fart as it is, I just wanted to chime in real quick and correct those two errors. Since I always do these things in one take, and it's not really uh, a custom for me to do this, but I thought I'd throw that in. Um, as always, thank you for enjoying this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And I hope I don't do any more confusing things in the future. Peace. $50 it is a knife. So let's see if we got that in here. There's a box. And it says Kershaw. So we have a um, Kershaw, blah, blah, blah. Taking lines, sports car, uh, distinctive silhouette, custom pivot, blah, 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 blah. It's a knife. All right. So let's see what we got here. This is going for $50. We'll open this up. All right. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Again, not fishing. So a very weighty, so it's a good construction. Uh, little, let's see, is it? lever assist no it's not spring assisted but a little knife good for pocket utility um, certainly good for cutting rope uh, for marine uh, usage um, it's got one of those spring spring levers in the bar or on the, on the thumb side that you can bring down um, not bad I like the weight I do like the material um, I'd rather again this is a big key this is not a fishing item if it was fishing, I would have liked to have seen bumps and ridges in a uh, either a rubber or some sort of high grip material here, rather than the smooth polished metal flake uh, metal uh, surface that is going to be slippery. Once you have fish scale, slime, blood, anything on this, it is it's going to slide all over the place. Um, you know that's not fishing. This is hunting. This is not fishing. Uh, and like I said in past videos, there's a huge problem with both Hunter's Hall slipping into, uh, into Angler Hall, and with this specifically with Hunt Vault shoving a lot of their large quantity items that they have bulk into their Fish Vault side. It's almost like they use this as just another way to clearance out some products that don't sell on the Hunter Hall side, or excuse me, the, the Hunt Vault side. Um, Next up, the one item, hopefully it's the same thing, the one item that was teased in uh, the post for May's uh, subscription for $40 is an Otter Box. This is their Hudson's Dry Box. Um, I don't know if this was the exact item. Uh, I think it was an Otter Box phone case that was supposed to be sold uh, for this month. But we have a 3250 series, Otter Box, great brand. Um, love their, their cases, tried and true. And you have yourself a dry box. Comes with a little card in here that you can put your cell phone, keys, etc. inside this. So I guess this might have been what they were talking about. Again, they have a little image of the Apple iPhone, uh, car keys, etc. in this dry box. It's got double latch, pops down. Definitely, definitely awesome to have. Again, they have this one for $40. Um, Certainly, certainly useful. Uh, I will definitely put this to good use, especially if you're a kayak fisherman. And it does have this groove here and here that uh, you can put, what I like to do is get the long Velcro strips 
and you can slide the Velcro through here and loop it around itself and lash it to uh, your kayak or what have you so that this box is lashed down, your products are inside safe. If it does tip over, it's not gonna leave the, the confines of the kayak or the boat and, uh, and this way you can retrieve it. So that's important. That's, that's actually definitely a, a good solid item that I'm appreciative of getting. Uh, next up, totally not fishing, but possibly oriented towards your anglers that are in tournaments, because this goes far, especially if you happen to be a co-angler and you want to do something nice for the guy whose boat you're on. Um, totally not fishing. Now, if you're in a NASCAR or the Indianapolis 500 or Le Mans, specifically Le Mans, we have some, uh, some coffee. So it was roasted on the, on the, it says it's roasted the 29th of April. Roasted on the 29th of April. That is impossible. It says it right there. That's not mine. That, that's their doing. It's impossible because I received this before the 29th of April. So it was roasted today or yesterday. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so we have some dry Colombian beans. This is a single origin, medium roast Colombian. And they're selling this canteen of Le Mans inspired coffee, drive coffee at $18. And I do smell it seeping through the, the lid here. So it's not exactly the most uh, sealed package, but I do smell, smell it as I shake it. But that all said, smells good. Definitely gonna have some use of this. I am a coffee drinker, so that's definitely gonna find its way into my belly at some point. $18 for that Drive Coffee Le Mans. Inspired by legendary GT40's Le Mans, uh, blah, 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 24 hour endurance race. Uh, this is a French, I guess it's a French, uh, well, it can't be, because it's, well, maybe. It's a, well, whatever. Anyway, maybe it's a French roast. Uh, fish Away Wipes. Boom. First true 100% angler specific item for $8. So you see your tier, your top tier items are coming out being multi-use, not fishing specific. And then you're starting to see these low, low price items thrown in as your fishing specific anglers, um, you know, based items in the fish vault. Fish Away Wipes for $8. Absolutely epic to have. I have other brands of these. These are great to keep. Keep these in your car. Keep these in your boat. Keep these on your kayak. Keep these in your, in your rucksack, on your, in your fishing tackle bag. Um, when it comes down to it and you need to wipe your hands of whatever, be it scent that you got on your hands when you're uh, tying on lures uh, and scenting them, or, or just the fish themselves, these are epic between... You know, when you're done casting and you want to take your lunch break or what have you, wipe your hands down and get that stuff off of them. Make sure, make sure your hands are nice and cleanly so that you can eat in, in joy. Um, but uh, not bad. $8, definitely, again, useful. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate the Otter Box. I do have many of those fish wipes. Um, and they, they come in handy all the time. And they're not just for fishing. You can keep them in your car, like I say, when you go out and, uh, you know, something happens on the side of the road and you have to change your flat tire. Then you have a way to have a, a nice white, uh, wet towelette to wipe a lot of that, uh, you know, brake dust and grue, the gook and stuff off your hands. Uh, you know, just so that you're driving without staining up your steering wheel and all that stuff. Next, again, from Fish Away. This is their foaming cleanser for $5. So, Fish Away Foaming Cleanser, dark water scent. So, this removes the odor of fish. So, basically, this is a foaming hand cleanser that you can spray on or squeeze on, similar to a mousse container in there, and uh, wipe it around your hands and then rinse it off. Um, it is obviously use pump to foam hands, rub onto hands, let dry. All right, so it's based, basically, it's aloe. Um, Barbanesis leaf juice for fragrance and some other things. Of course, some, some artificial colors, um, but not bad. This is a 1.69 fluid ounce or 50 milliliters uh, container, and it's a foamer, so I'm 
even at such a small quantity, it should last you quite a while. I can appreciate that too. So that's two absolute fish specific items. I will give the otter box an honorable mention there as well. Um, the knife, I will not accept that as a, as a, as a uh, angler or fish vault item. It is a hunter vault item. Even on that, you wouldn't want to go with that, go with that hunting um, because, again, you're skinning uh, an animal. You're going to get blood and what have you on it or rain, in, you know, if it rains on you, and that's just slippery. I don't like that. I'll appreciate it. That cleanser, again, was $5. And our final item in this box, and, again, not including what should have come, uh, is a write-in-the-rain notebook. Yes, you heard me right for $4. Write-in-the-rain notebook. It's a notebook. So it's one of those nice water-resistant paper notebooks that you can write on. Whether the paper gets wet or not, it doesn't. Um, it will repel a lot of the grease and water. You won't lose your, uh, your images on here. It won't wash off or crinkle up and be ruined. Um, this is, again, this, this is good for having on a boat. I will give you that. Uh, especially if you have issues with your boat, you can log things on your boat. Um, hours on your motor, uh, a problem that happened. If you have a, a fuel gauge that's not working very well, you can run your mileage um, so you can figure out how many miles you're getting on your, on your tank of fuel. So that's definitely beneficial. For kayakers, if you want to keep a log of your fish catches or you don't have modern electronics that can put waypoints, um, you can keep a, a ledger of, of, your, of your logs, of your information. So yes, I mean, I'm playing devil's advocate on a lot of stuff here, but I'm giving you ex explanations of what this could be used for uh, in the angling field, in the fishing, fishing side of life. Uh, but again, I don't, I, I don't hold this as a specifically fishing item, and that's disheartening. I don't hold coffee as a fishing item. Disheartening. Um, I just, it's just not right. Um, so for that, I'm very disappointed in, uh, in it for $150, uh, for the month and seeing the two mainstay fishing items being an $8 item and a, what was it, $5 item, an $8 item and a $5 item, which should have been at the bottom of the list. And I should have had four or five items in the upper 80, 60, 50, 45, 55, 65 dollar range, um, the Kershaw Inuit knife, that should have been a fishing knife. It should have had rubber grips. It should have been more in tune to uh, having specifically boaters and fishers and anglers in, in mind. And that, that they could have put that as a $65 knife uh, at the top of the list. They could have come down with, remove the $18 BS coffee and given me, um, I don't know, anything worth $18 or $20 that you can get it. Walmart for fishing. Um, I just don't, I don't, uh, I just don't appreciate the vagueness at which they're uh, intending to use a lot of these items. Um, the headlamp, I can sway. Uh, you know, the, the, the fish away, uh, both the honing cleanser and the wipes, that's, that's a no-brainer. The notebook, I can sway to the side of, uh, you know, air to the side of, yeah, okay, it's useful. But, uh, so that's four out of two, four, six, seven, four out of seven. You know, it's not even 60 percent. Eh, I don't know. Not really, not really where I want to be. With all that said, um, I hope you did like the reveal. Uh, tell me your theories. Do you find this value uh, one hundred fifty dollars worth it? Uh, remember, I've gotten much larger boxes. What was supposed to be in this box? was a tackle bag by Plano, a repellent, a, a electric bug repellent um, machine, you know, the little fans that spit out the, the bug, the, the, you know. These things, again, that electronic device for the bug repellent, more camping, not necessarily angling. But as a bank angler, I can see that being valuable, and thus I can err on that side. Um, that all said, Tell me your opinions. What do you think? As always, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you spending some time with me, and uh, I hope you all enjoy your weekend. I'm going to immediately edit this and post it as soon as I can. And uh, we will uh, catch you on the next cast. As always, peace, workaholics.